Hello everybody and welcome back to another shop with me video. In this video, Erin and I went to Ocala, Florida and we went to a giant antique store called, or antique mall, called Traditions Antique Mall. It's two stories, it's like 20,000 square feet. It is ginormous. Now, what I have noticed, I've gone to this place quite a few times. What I have noticed in this place is that it's, very rare that you can actually get a deal like the, the, it's more like um museum pieces than i want to sell it and make money pieces if that makes sense to you so you either have to do one of two things you have to catch a vendor that is just trying to get rid of things or you have to go in there and know exactly what you're looking at know exactly what you're looking for and how much things resell for. So that's what I've noticed in this antique mall. Now we do from time to time get little deals like maybe a booth will be 20% off. So it, something is better than nothing. Um, but while this place is beautiful and has so many things to look at, I wouldn't peg it as one of my go-to places if I wanted to catch a deal. But it's just, it's gorgeous, and I like going here anyway because everything is just so beautiful, and they have great displays. See, like this booth, 20% off anything over $10. So once in a while, a vendor will get you a deal. But like, for example, that um, that Fenton Silvercrest Bowl that was right there, it's like $60. And I mean, for the most part, I can find uh, the silver crest, especially at Salvation Army for some reason, pretty, pretty readily available there, you know, maybe not to all people, but in my neck of the woods, I can kind of find it all the time. So I wouldn't pay, uh, really an antique store price for something like that. So like I said, you either have to have big pockets when you go in here or know exactly what you're looking at in order to pay up for it. So let's see what I can find. Now here's a cool like sort of tiered tray brooch display. Well, there was a brooch display. Um, she has all kinds of really cool pieces of jewelry, but again, it's a little uh, much for me to try and make any sort of a profit on. Um, I did, I poked around there a little after I turned the camera off and there wasn't anything that really stood out to be, to me, to be um, something extraordinary that you would, you know, be like, okay, I'll pay $20 for that, you know? So you just have to, I mean, I say this so much, you just have to go with what is in your budget, um, you know, try and go for what you're attracted to, what's within your budget, and try and go from there. You know, look things up. Um, I was checking out this paperweight. It's actually a peacock. That actually has sold already, but there was a few other things that we got here that haven't sold, so... If you guys have any questions or anything like that, you can feel free to email me. Um, well, I guess I didn't show you guys that. I'm, well, did I do a haul video? I think I did a haul video on this stuff. Um, but it did sell in one of my live sales that I have here on the channel every Sunday, in case you didn't know. They're really fun. Not quite sure what was up with this doll. Erin always thinks that she's really creepy. But I had to check out the um, Jemima Puddle Duck little kids um breakfast bowl over there i usually when i find that sort of because jemima puddle duck she is from peter rabbit um you don't see a lot of that stuff out if you find something or if i find something it's more like bunnykins or something that like that which is fine with me i mean i collect that stuff i love um peter rabbit and bunnykins and stuff like that so i had to take a peek and see exactly what it was selling for now here is a beautiful fairy lamp you guys know these things are like so just highly coveted amongst the resellers out there um 
and that, that was an epern that was up there there's all kinds of beautiful glassware here's a lady head vase these usually run pretty high especially when they're in super good condition a lot of times their lashes are broken or their fingers are broken or something like that um but yeah i mean this pace this pace this place is just jam-packed filled with stuff you have some bedside decanters there you have some corrects there you have oh my gosh it's just so much to look at it's so fun if you guys ever ever are in florida make sure you check this place out the the staff is lovely um but you really have to search if you want to find you a good deal you really have to search in this store <laughs> Here I spied one of the Galileo thermometers. I have one of those in my kitchen. They're actually pretty cool. And then Aaron over here spotted some Annalise, as he, or as he calls them, Anna Maria Islands. <laughs> if you live here in Florida, you probably know where that is. Um, but they had a lot of cute ones special for Valentine's Day. So we were checking those out, checking their prices, seeing their dates and all that good stuff as we do. We didn't end up getting any of those. Um, and then I was showing him these Peter Rabbit figurines. Um, those are actually, blah, 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 were they Goebel ones? Oh gosh, I think I looked under them to see what they were. They weren't by the same people that the ones I found at Goodwill some videos back, like probably last summer um, were, though they still sold for really good money. Um, I wanna say they were Goebel. And these right here, these are reproductions of Victorian, um, just Victorian clip art. They were really cool, but um, they were repros. I would have bought one for myself. I mean, and this booth, uh, we did find a couple of things. I have found and bought a few things from this booth before. That's why it is one of the ones that I make sure that I check out when I go here. They always have some really pretty stuff. Sometimes it's like oh okay yeah i can do that and other times it's like oh i can't touch that nope can't touch that <laughs> All right, guys so as usual there is a few more minutes left of footage of this video that i really would like you guys to see but i am going to pop on here and say my goodbyes now don't forget that on sundays we have live sales here on the youtube channel where we show a lot of the things that you guys see in the shop with me videos and in the haul videos and also if you could go check us out on ebay and instagram our name is the same on each platform 
So that would be great. Um, let's see, what else did I want to remind you guys of? I think maybe that was it. Oh, wait, no, just kidding. Make sure you go down below after this video is over and drop a heart, leave me a thumbs up, and um, yeah, hit that bell if you want to see more videos like this. All right, guys, thanks so, so, so much, and I'll talk to you guys again later. Bye.